Hi, I simply just have to show my excitement for the new SDXL09AI image generator. Clipdrop.co slash stable diffusion. Linked in description. Let's make a simple prompt. Mermaid in a glass bowl. Choose between default no style or choose e.g. photographic or one of the other styles. We'll go with no style. So here we are. A few examples. Let's change the styles to photographic. Photographic style is typically with a lot of background blur, also known as bokeh and subdued complementary colors. Here are some nice examples of that. Now, let's try something different. How about a burger underwater? And let's keep photographic style. Yeah, awesome. I could eat every one of them. You can download all images in HD 2048 by 2048 pixels. So, there's a lot of different styles to choose between depending of your needs. I will not get into that here, but let's try the underwater burger in default style. Interesting. Don't know what this is though, but never mind. One more time just to see what comes up. Can be hard to stop this madness. Now, let's get some real humans involved. Let's see a Stone Age woman, or better women. Alright, here are some different styles. This one is photographically realistic, while this one is more like an illustration, and this one also like an illustration. Let's try as photographic. Well, they are definitely very similar in expression and again typically photographic with focus and a lot of background blur aka Baki. This one has a distinct disturbance error. Let's try again. And again, they are very similar. They look too much alike. What if we write old in front? Yep, okay, they got older, but still very similar. So, this must be the grandmother of all of us, the grandmother of all grandmothers. Okay, well, now I will show you what I played around with last night and the quality and full size, etc. We start out with ordinary things, more or less that is, and then move on to people. Afterwards, I will show you a little more of what this site can do and has to offer. Please note that I am not associated with this company or anyone else for that matter. I'm only making this video because I'm totally excited about these AI generations and the possibilities with it. Now, I hope you have enjoyed the saturation point in this burger. These colors just sit perfectly balanced and I love it. Here's a hot dog box, just because. And while we're on the subject of hot dogs, I had a good laugh, but yeah, that's just me. Then I wanted some ice cream for dessert. Actually, I don't really like ice cream that much, but that's a whole other story. A typical prompt for AI images is to place something on the moon. So here is a unicorn. They actually live on the moon. That's where they are. Yep, it's all kept secret by NASA. Before we move on to humans, we'll just nudge a couple of dolphins and a duck. None of these images have been post-edited. They are all directly from the download. Oh no, there's been a plane crash. Lucky that the photographer was not hit. Boudoir photography is an art form in itself. I got quite a few pictures blocked by the NSFW filter. I'll get back to that in a bit, because I actually got nude photos too, but I'll tell about that in a moment. First I made some wet girls. This has been a problem sometimes on other services, but no problems here, and the pictures are cool. I prompted four punk rock girls and continued this for a while. Besides the hands and armpits being faulty here, this picture is badass awesome, and these small faults can easily be fixed in another outpaint generation. These punk rock girls are, like the Stone Age woman, very similar as long as you don't enter more parameters into your prompt. In the next few pictures it becomes clear to see that the skin texture is a bit strange. This weird texture pattern repeats itself in almost all images, and it's one thing that really lowers the quality for SDXL09 at present time. Rambo, 
of all people, showed this very clearly. It's a bit like goosebumps, and it appears both in illustrations and photographic generations. Anyways, as you can see we can prompt for celebrities here, and while we edit, I have more coming for you. But first, guess this movie. Of course, it's Pulp Fiction, and here's the movie poster. Note that the poster is an illustration, while the frame and table are photographic. So, what about Jackie Brown and Pam Greer? Not quite Pam Greer, but close. It can be done better. Oh yeah, now it's starting to remind me of the 70s Pam Greer. But wait a minute, she did quite a few sweet nude scenes back then. Hmm, wonder if... So yes, as mentioned, I managed to get a topless Pam Greer. Unfortunately, as you know, I cannot show the details here. However, I then took the picture and ran it through the reimagine tool, which creates multiple variants with AI stable diffusion. And yes, then I got another topless picture. This time the details were of really fine quality. Usually you will get an NSFW message. It means, not suitable for work, and is the censorship of the material flagged as unsuitable. However, I did manage to generate quite a few fine nudes in various situations, so it can be done. Can't say Pulp Fiction and Jackie Brown without saying Quentin Tarantino. Fingers are a bit off here, but it sure is Quentin Tarantino. Let's move on to Madonna. Here she is. Did you know she slept with Michael Jackson? It was apparently a pretty hot affair. Oh yeah, a bit too hot it seemed. Would like to have that censorship terminated. Terminator, you know. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Enough celebrities for this round. Now let's see some babes on bikes. Pretty. Okay. Adding beer. Yep, we no longer need photographers and models in the real world. They have to find other work. In conclusion, I will show a few ordinary portraits. These are unbelievably good AI creations. It's incredibly hard to tell from real photos. The future is here now. Amazing. Okay, as promised, I'll just quickly show what else the site has to offer. Scrolling down through examples of all sorts of different types. Lots of inspiration. And so we get to the tools. I won't show them in use here, but you can go in and play with it yourself. For example, the reimagine that I used for my Pam Greer pictures. You also have a remove background tool. And a cleanup remove objects tool. Or the doodle thing that can turn drawings into photos. A relight tool where you can move your light source as desired. And an upscaling tool that will also enhance your pictures. Or a background replacer. All of it powered by AI. So, Photoshop, rest in peace, and thanks for the time we had. To get the most out of it all, you have to make a subscription, but luckily it's super cheap, compared to other providers, and it's unlimited, and yes, that's my own opinion. And to you out there, the link to the site is in the description below. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a great time. Moing.